Hey folks, Stronghold Crafter Kev here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to continue my tutorial on how to make a castle wall out of foam. Yes. Uh, specifically, I'm going to uh, go over how to uh, deal with uh, detailing the runner part of the castle wall. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you like what you see. I have more, a lot more things coming down the channel, and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Uh, for more information on my craft, visit my website, which is strongholdsoffancy.com. And I'll see you in a bit. Hey, folks. Welcome back to this castle wall tutorial. And uh, in this segment, we're going to take this running part on, on the top of the wall and uh, detail it. So, we're going to go with a, uh, a stylized, uh, simple uh, detailing. And make sure you... Uh, with this part, it's very important. Make sure you want which end facing the, uh, the Merlons. Okay, so I marked this part with an M. So I know that's where I want to have it. And uh, I'm going to measure this out for about an inch. This is an inch and a half, roughly. Just like so. And I'll get my tool ready. Hold on. Alright, now we're going to be using the uh, engraving tool from the Hotwire Foam Factory. <sighs> Don't ask me to say that uh, three times fast. Alright, so. I'll line this up here, and we're just going to run the line down. And it definitely shows up better here. And now for the next part. Hold on. Alright, now we're going to uh, mark our next set of lines. And I'm going to make these uh, an inch apart. And it's also very important to uh, make sure your original line was not disturbed. When you follow the other direction. Okay, I'll finish this up and show you how it looks. Hold on. Alright. That turned out pretty good. Um, so now, uh, I'm going to do a, a staggered uh, cut the other way. So, and I'm going to actually do this uh, freehand. So that uh, it gives it a more dynamic look. like so. And a little bit of angel hair is no big deal. So I'll finish this up and show you how, how it turns out. Hold on. Alright. Now, we have our pattern here. And we also, uh, I Followed the lines down because this is the part that's going to be facing out and uh, 
uncovered on the inner part of the wall when it's attached. So, not much to say other than the fact you just uh, follow the line through carefully and I, only, I did it freehand, I didn't even bother with the uh, with uh, measuring it or holding something in place. And that pretty much covers the detailing part of the running part of the wall.